Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Jaquela and I post lifestyle videos and more. And today we're back with the back to school series and I am doing a senior advice video. A lot of you guys love the freshman advice. So we're gonna do some senior advice. Grab your tea. Cause it's about to get real. Okay, disclaimer, this soda is actually so good. I don't even drink soda like that. I made some notes on the phone. So we're just gonna go off of that. One of my little friends texted me and was like, you should definitely do a senior one. If you're watching this, Brady, shout out to you. She's graduating early. Starting off strong at number one, I have senior pictures. I took my senior pictures two months before. Oh my God, my camera's gonna die. Anywho, before I was rudely interrupted. All right, where were we at? Senior pictures. I took mine two months before we graduated. That's just because you're constantly changing. Like, even if you don't think you're changing, you're definitely changing from the beginning of the year August to the end of the year May. So my biggest tip to you is to just wait to take your senior pictures. Don't be late on them because you have to send out invitations. But definitely don't take them at the beginning of the year because you're going to be changing, evolving, growing. That being said, be different. My senior pictures were literally pink and my school was blue and white. I was in a pink blazer. I ate the girls up. Like I will literally insert a picture. I ate the girls up. Simple. You do not have to take pictures in a white dress and a flower field like everybody else. Be different. Be unique to your own style. You're literally graduating. It's all about you. Like make it about you. <laughs> do it for yourself. Make the pictures. Be who you are. Tell who you are. It's literally your pictures. So make them customized to yourself, your beauty, your personality. Have a little fun with it. I just feel like I should not already be out of breath. Taking pictures. Senior literally goes by so fast. So I would advise you to take as many pictures as you can. Eventually they're all gonna turn into memories. So just take as many pictures as you can. Going along into the next topic, be more present. I know a lot of people focus on graduation. Personally, I was literally miserable. I'm not even gonna get into it. A lot of people wait till graduation or like have a countdown, like ready to go. But I would say be a little bit more present because it does go by very fast. So take pictures, enjoy the moment. I feel like it's kind of easy to stress yourself out for senior year because it's just so much happening. But definitely don't think about tomorrow, just live in the moment stay present stay calm eventually everything will be over and you'll be like wow like there's no more going back to school this is all i've known it's the end of an era it's a very exciting but also scary year next thing i want to talk about is scholarships this is a huge deal when being a senior that's free money all you have to do is fill out an application my school made it super easy for us to fill out scholarships i would just say write an overall general essay most of the scholarships they ask for the same exact thing so write an essay at the beginning of the year saying what you want to do what made you who you are what shaped you your plans after high school that's like a general essay and you can use that for almost every scholarship some of them you have to tweak because it's like different requirements and stuff but for the most part they're always the same so definitely just write a general essay my best friend really put me on she helped me stay organized throughout this whole thing um get some little folders so that you can put all your scholarship stuff in one and send it off because all the scholarships basically ask for the same thing transcript the essay the application part so you can just already have that ready personally I made a little thing, like a media kit type thing. I went on Canva and it had like my name, my GPA, all of that, what I was involved in. And I had millions of copies of all of those and I put it in a folder. And every time a scholarship came around that was due, all I had to do was maybe tweak the essay and fill out the application. Simple, send it off. Definitely fill out scholarships, no matter if you think you're gonna get it or not. And that's how you stay organized with all of that. And write down the due dates. If you have a planner, write down due dates because stuff is going to come up quick. And that's like with all of senior year, like literally everything is just going to come like boom, 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 like back to back. There's something every single day of the week, I swear. So stay organized, write down dates, all of that. Coming to picking a college, you don't have to pick a college based on what everyone else is doing. Pick a college based on what you're going for, if they're good at that, financial needs. A lot of people want to like as soon as they get out of high school want to go off to college and go to a four year university and end up with a lot of student loans. Be smart about it. Like I'm not saying you have to not go to college. I'm just saying be smart so that you're not ending up 
taking out student loans forever i'm staying at home for my first two years going to a community college and getting my associates before transferring just so i can save up a lot more money i'm still getting the same degree why would i go to a four-year university to do basics it, it just makes no sense to me like you know just be smart about it i'm not saying oh don't go to college i'm different like a lot of people want the college experience which you can get the college experience at a community college but a lot of people want that experience they want to party they want to move out of their parents house i'm the complete opposite baby i love it here i love my room i still get the freedom it's just be smart when it comes to picking a college because you don't have to go out like everyone else is doing you can stay home chase your dreams chase your goals and if you are going to a big college make sure you're staying focused because that is the biggest thing and a lot of people end up back home because they didn't stay focused you gotta stay on your zoom have fun but stay on your zoom and that's the tea on that one okay four years of high school everyone was like oh my gosh like senior year is so easy like it goes by so fast it's so easy who are you lying to bruh senior year was my hardest freaking year because i was mentally physically drained i had so much to do like i couldn't just not show up because i was tired it was stuff i had to be at i was required to be at and i'm like i'm physically drained having to worry about scholarships due dates keeping my grades up <laughs> i was tired dead what school were y'all going to where senior year was easy y'all must have not been on y'all zoom doing the right thing there's so much to do senior year the classes get easier in itself but the second semester you're never at school like you have a lot of senior activities dances prom and you're also having to worry about scholarships and staying on top of everything once you fall behind it's easy to come out of it but you just don't want to get to that point because you're going to stress yourself out senior year is definitely not the easiest year and I'm not even saying that just to like scare you guys, but it's definitely not the easiest year. There's just so much more you have to keep up with academically. One thing I really want to say is like have fun and take risks. This was me and my best friends like, I would call it our thrive year. Like we literally had so much fun. Like we just did stuff. We shot our shot at people and we enjoyed that for like a month. But like it was nothing serious. Just have fun. Like I'm saying it's your last year seeing everybody and eventually just do something embarrassing because like ain't nobody gonna remember it tomorrow by next week people gonna be talking about the new thing like no one really cares just have fun take risks shoot your shot that cute boy you've been liking since freshman year because listen the first thing he can do is say no and that has nothing to do with you and you won't even see him next year it's fine it's fine like and i'm talking about 10 he gonna be spinning the block trying to get back with you just have fun do that thing you've been scared to do like if you've never been to a football game go if you've never been to a basketball game go if you never tried out for cheer go if you never tried out for the volleyball the basketball the tennis team go like i literally almost played tennis having never played before but the team was full when i tried to join i promise you will not regret it it'll be like the best memory you've ever had honestly have fun and take risks it's the biggest thing i can tell you because like this is your prime year baby and personally senior year was hardest for me because i lost a lot of friends <laughs> so me and my best friend this made us closer like we literally thrived this year like we did so much we got our first tattoos together we went to like the bonfire together we had so much fun like i would say just get out and have fun Another thing no one tells you is how freaking expensive your senior year actually is. It's like, what the price will be going to college at this point? Senior year is so expensive between like prom, senior dues, senior t-shirts, senior activities, senior trips. It's really so expensive. So save your money at the beginning of the year. But don't let the money stop you from not doing something because there's so much you can do. There's so many memories to make. And literally, like, I literally went to my old school for my prom and it was so fun. Like, that's what I mean by taking a risk. I literally went to my old school to their prom, the school I literally hated so much, and it was so fun. Like, I will not lie to y'all. No matter if you go to your school's prom or another school's prom, like, literally just go because it'll be so much fun. When it comes to applying for colleges, I would say apply for as many as you can. I knew since like January where I was wanting to go and I still went and toured colleges. You could never be sure enough. Pick the college that's gonna be best for you emotionally, for your path you're taking and financially. Don't go to a four year university and just go crazy. That's all the advice I have for senior year. Make the most of it. I don't even know where I was half the time but I know I wasn't mentally at school because I was tired. 
stay on your zoom make the best of it stay present don't think about the future because that's how you get stressed out just have fun and i hope you guys have the best senior year anyways i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in another video Bye.